Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome to Dilltown Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilltown Paul, we go on Wikipedia. We quick random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Uh, but first, I got a lot to talk about. Yeah. We do. Uh, I, I just got back from Canada. The great, the true great north. <laughs> the, it has, there's some slogan like that that's like, the truest north greatest. <laughs> Uh, and a couple people have said it to me, and it's like the truest, greatest North. Yeah, <laughs> we swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big uh, I'll just I'll just give you a quick quick rundown, right. city by city. Cool. Toronto, uh, it was great. Gotta be chain of restaurants called Pizza Pizza, what which do they is serve pizza. All right. Uh, it's but they also have Little Caesars, so I believe that there is some sort of Whoa. there must be some sort of uh, turf war. Yeah, there's got to be. <laughs> Because Little Caesar's slogan is well, maybe pizza, pizza. Maybe in Canada it's not. Maybe in Canada it's like, hey, come get a slice. <laughs> but still like a little Roman dude. Hey, come get a slice. Like no accent or nothing. At <laughs> <laughs> <Et> two pepperoni. <laughs> uh, I would take that. Uh, it was great. We 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 checked out a, a weird castle thing called Casa Loma, which is just in Toronto. Some like crazy dude built it in the early 1900s. Okay. He's like, I just want to live in a fucking castle. <laughs> And then he only lived there for like ten years and went bankrupt. And died. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bankrupt. It's nuts. Uh, yeah, there's a reason that like kings didn't just build their own castles. They like got a bunch of slaves to do it for them. Yeah, <laughs> it's wild. And we drove down uh, Degrassi Street, which was it was only like five or six blocks. It was much shorter than I expected. Was each block named after like one of the characters? Uh, yeah, J T York Memorial <laughs> Highway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spinner Street. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. So that's all you did, huh? Just go to pizza restaurants and visit the Degrassi Memorial Highway. Yeah. Uh, then then we went to Niagara Falls, okay. which the actual falls was like the craziest fucking thing I've ever seen. It was absolutely wild. I can't even imagine. It, it was. And like, where's that water going? And where's it coming from with such vigor? J- Jessica and I spent a very long time reading the Wikipedia articles of like all the tributaries. And yeah. it's just impossible to find out where it comes from. It's like it comes from this river, which comes from this lake, which comes from here, which it's which comes from these five rivers. It's. And then it all just happens to converge on this cliff or whatever. It was wild. That's so strange. But the city surrounding, like Niagara Falls, the city, mm-hmm. trash. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, gotta be right. It's like um, if if anyone's ever been to like International Drive in Florida, mm-hmm. that looks quaint compared to <laughs> Niagara Falls. Seriously, like a hundred wax museums, a hundred uh, uh, haunted houses. I took pictures of all the haunted <laughs> houses I walked by. It's like. Eight casinos, indoor wi- glow in the dark wizard mini golf. I mean, there had to have at least have been one location that was all of those things in one, right? Oh, for sure. Because like haunted, that- haunted wax mini golf, <laughs> and and it was it wasn't uh, it wasn't even Madame Tussauds wax museum. It was it was like Jeff Tussauds. Oh man, that's like, awesome. <laughs> Frankie guys, Tussauds. what are you doing? <laughs> so that was wild. Uh, then we drove, we did like a six hour drive to get to Montreal, which was just okay. great. Just driving across the country, baby. The wrong country, but sure. Yeah. Um, Montreal was, was great. It was like a weird, it was, I, I was surprised by how European it felt. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It, and the rest of Canada felt more Tor- familiar. Toronto felt like the uncanny v- valley of the U S okay. it was like, it was like something's off. I can't figure out what it that's, is. It was so, it was so like. <laughs> This is Chicago, but polite. Yeah, and and obviously they use like kilometers, right? Which weird. was weird and Celsius. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, it was just like, why is this weird? And a really weird thing, we had a very hard time. Uh, we we tried to like one night we tried to like just go out and get beer. Sure. And we like couldn't. F- I don't know if it was like the particular area where we were or what, but we just like couldn't find any and we found one like it wasn't that, that they weren't selling it that is or, or like oh it's past curfew or whatever no it was just it like was unavailable yeah we went to a bunch of like convenience stores and, and grocery stores and none of them had, like there were bars there were plenty of bars we yeah, just yeah. wanted to like buy a six pack we went into one convenience store and they had a wide selection of non-alcoholic beers weird it was did you weird. ask anybody about it no i felt weird yeah. i mean like what? where's all the liquor boy? yeah yeah, yeah. it was so weird <laughs> The fact that they would have a huge selection of non-alcoholic beer has to imply something weird right, like with right. the statutes of that city or something. I don't know. Uh, so then Montreal was was real great. Uh, we did I know. We did a, a brew pub tour where we just like walked around to a bunch of different brew pubs and drank a bunch <laughs> and uh, that was great. Okay. We met some we met some Australians on that tour yeah. that were just like one of them lived in New York and the other one 
lived in uh, Iran, which is so weird. Uh, and then I'm they, sorry, what? Yeah, I know. Okay, so you're a terrorist. Yeah, I mean, I'm on a list like, now. <laughs> uh, just for association, we're going on yeah. a, a pub crawl with this guy. But uh, they were really cool, and we, we, were, we were talking about like where we were from, and the state that they were from in, in, in Australia. Australia is called the Sunshines. They refer to it as the Sunshine State. No way. And I was like, dog, we're from Florida. I'm sorry, we're going to have to fight now. We're from the real Sunshine State? <laughs> yeah, that's our Twitter handle, sorry. Uh, at, at the real Sunshine <laughs> State. And and I was like, yeah, you know, it never gets above, in the winter, it's it's never colder than like 60 degrees. And they're like, I have no idea what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds hot as hell. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, then <laughs> there were also, I'm very excited to tell you, oh, a what? bunch of Northern Irish dudes on the, the tour. What and did you, get, did you get to talking to him? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. And we talked about Brexit. Um, <laughs> are they like stoked to like maybe be joining up with Ireland? Well, we, I didn't bring that up because I didn't want to like get shot in yeah. your face. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but they the one dude that we talked to about it was like um, so dumb. He he voted Remain. Sure. But he was like, because you're North Ireland, like you're like a fucking normal human. He was like, I get why some people voted Leave, and I don't necessarily agree with it, but there is definitely. Uh, a population that is underserved that that the the leave uh platform sort of spoke to sure and he, and very very he, very diplomatic way yeah, to say exactly it. and he's not wrong <laughs> uh but and, and he was also saying like you know everything's starting to stabilize again because this was like maybe two two weeks after sure. the vote uh so so he seemed he seemed well yeah it's like the the scientists have told us there's a hurricane. It will be touching down in 24 hours. There's nothing you can do about it. It's too late. Yeah. I Go mean, to the grocery store, get your food, get your sandbags ready, and just ri- get, like, ride it out. That kind of seemed to be his attitude. He's like, at we're, the end of the day. We're here now. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, but it was it was really interesting. And, and we talked a little bit about Trump, too, and how it's kind of the same exact thing. How weird is that? That worldwide, or at least in two countries, two big you yeah. know, countries in the world, the same thing's happening. Mm-hmm. Not not weird because everyone is just always going to be shitty. Yeah, old people. Uh, old people are always gonna, they're always going to be shitty old yeah. people, and turns someday out. it'll be us. Yeah, it turns out. Uh, I feel like before that, I, I'll, I'll have killed myself well before the time. I hope so. Yeah, I'd hope you'd. <laughs> uh, so then after that, we went to Quebec City, mm-hmm. which was so quaint. It was it was like uh, like a Saint Augustine type mm, place. Okay. If if you've ever been to Saint Augustine in Florida, all of my all of my landmarks are in Florida. Um, it was just like a really old town that felt even more European, but also very touristy. Lots of, lots of tourists. Sure. Um, yeah, that sounds exactly like St. Augustine. Yeah. Super, just super quaint and super lovely. And then the, the outside, the historic part of the city was just like a cool city. It was great. And, uh, we did a ghost tour there. In Quebec City? Mm-hmm. Was it super haunted? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, it was just, it was just one, one of the thing one of the stories that they told was about this woman called, uh. Marie Corvo. Okay. And I forget what she did, but her punishment was to be like put in this crazy cage and just like hung up and displayed for people. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are I forget what those are called, but yeah, yeah. And then they would do that to pirates and stuff. Then like eventually that cage like P. T. Barnum bought it and like put it on display and shit. It it was like wild. Dude, P. T. Barnum was awesome. He's like yeah. the original huckster. Yeah. It's, which is funny because you're like, oh the circus guy. Like, it's like no. There's He's like sucker born every minute, baby. Exactly, yeah. Grifter numero uno. Um, yeah, it was it was wild, and uh, I got to I got to parlay a little bit, <laughs> a, a lot of it actually. It oh, was yeah? fun. It was fun. Um, yeah, and I, I m- most of the time did all right, all and right. then and it would be like everything would be chugging along in French, and then I'd like fuck up, and then they would just switch to English. Oh, uh, it's like yeah, you screwed up. Too uh, late. You but, lost, your, lost your chance. But then there was there was one time when started in in french and this was at a, at a, a popcorn place we we're getting popcorn okay and they had a chicago mix all right naturally <laughs> doesn't so make any sense yeah so then we were As we, a, the you know the most famous city for popcorn chicago yeah like, right already what? like what uh and chicago mix for those of you that don't know is uh caramel popcorn and cheddar popcorn and it's a lot better than it sounds like it would be yeah actually yeah. uh and to put in a big old tin and just scarf it down yeah tin and all uh <laughs> and we uh, we were talking. And she was like, "Oh, where are you from?" And I was like, "Oh, Chicago." She's like, "Oh, you've had, so you, you know about this?" And I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "You should try." Uh, Here's the good stuff. You should try the the Quebec mix. And I was like, <laughs> "What's Quebec mix?" And that's cheddar and maple, obviously. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's like they're making fun of themselves. Yeah, it's it, yeah. They're they're leaning in so hard. Yeah. Uh, but but so, and Jessica was there, and she doesn't speak French, so we were chatting the three of us mm-hmm. in English, and then 
uh, it got to a point where we said something and she didn't understand what we were saying, and then I told her in French. No she was like, way! Hell yeah. yeah, that was like the my, the best thing that That's happened crazy. all all trip. I was like, you flipped it on him. I did it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. That, that's that's all and I, I wanted to I got you a little something Whoa. a very little something all right this um, is a, a surprise yeah it is it's, it's oh my god I do <laughs> okay hold on <laughs> you've got me so you you <laughs> classically are always getting me fridge magnets uh, during your trips <clears throat> so this is uh, one that's a a tree with a moose maybe taking a dump in a bucket for <laughs> maple syrup and it has a caption that says how maple? Yep, I was right. The caption says, "How maple syrup <laughs> is really made." Uh, there were a lot. I that's Canadian dollars. Six dollar so. Canadian. Um, this cost a dollar dollar fifty American. So there were a lot of these style magnets, okay. and they were all garbage. And the reason I got this one specifically is because it had an exclamation mark at the end, <laughs> and the others didn't. <laughs> yeah, you were right to do that. <laughs> Yeah, this is like a knockoff of a knockoff of those greeting cards with the old grandma that loves yes. coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the other ones, it was like a, just a line of like bear and beaver and moose and stuff. And one of them was like holding up a phone and just said Canadian selfie. Uh, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> what does this mean? Yeah, they were all yeah, like just like that and so weird. With like the most tenuous grasp on what even Canada is just yeah. by this magnet. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> Thanks for watching Buster. Yeah, he he uh you can vouch that he is still alive. Yes, I assume it's the same cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> uh well while you were gone, uh, I was playing well, that's not true. Well, it is true. I was playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. But you were also playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, I poached a bunch of Canadian Pokemon before they were able to download it's, the fucking it's app. It's only available here in America, yeah. right? <laughs> or I think it's it's been rolling out, but at the time but, it was only... So it was like you and another American just battling out... In the airport. At the gym, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Americans controlled the gym. Pokemon Go is pretty wild. Getting pretty good at spinning those balls. Yeah. Getting I, some extra XP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, speaking of kilometers, though, I mean... <laughs> yeah, for real. Who, who knows how many kilometers 10 kilometers is? I'll, I'll never know. <laughs> They're tricking us. Yeah. I don't want to learn. <laughs> and I'm not going to. Yeah, I refuse to. Let's see, let's just see what happens. Uh, I th we've we've talked about enough stuff. You yeah, let's just, go just to get, a, let's just get... What if the article is Pokemon Go? I, well, let's do it then. What if, though? Uh, Team Valor for life, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. If you, I mean, if you're... Just, oh, shit. Just stop listening if you're not. Woo! Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> uh, I mean... This is going to be an extended podcast. Oh, my God. Can we do a two-parter on this? Oh, can we? We've never uh, done it before. No, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Interesting. <sighs> Bad Out of Hell is the second album and major label debut of American rock singer, actor, and national treasure, Meatloaf. <laughs> I hope it says national treasure. <laughs> no, I wish. It's so damn true. <laughs> As well as being his first collaboration with composer Jim Steinman, released October 1977 on Cleveland International Epic Records, it's one of the best-selling albums in the history of recorded music, having sold over 43 million copies worldwide. So imagine this: you've seen, you've now seen Star Wars four or five times in a row, and mm -hmm. you're like, "How could this life get any better?" Yeah. And then Meat Love comes out with "Bad Out of Hell." Yeah. You're like, yeah. What the hell is happening to my life? Rolling Stone magazine ranked it number 343 on its list of 500 greatest albums of all time in 2003. Yes, when I, I at one point I went through and listened to every album, and I listened to that, and it is good. Its musical style is influenced by Steinman's appreciation of Richard Wagner, <laughs> who uh, so Richard Wagner composed a piece after which I named my first car. Really? Uh, yeah, the Flying Dutchman. Oh man! And uh, my my first car was called the Duchess. Be tenuous at best, but well, still. It, was, it was named after that that piece. Uh, Phil Spector okay. of Beatles fame of killing people fame. What are you, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, Bruce Springsteen, which I hate. Uh, I yeah. hate. I hate Bruce Springsteen. Well, but still. And the Who, which I I don't really know much about. I know. Yep, yeah, I'm sure you love them. Bad Out of Hell has been certified by the Recording Industry Association of America as a platinum album 14 times over. As of May 2015. Well, that means it's a diamond. Yes. Over diamond. Uh, as of May 2015, it has spent 485 weeks in the UK charts. The album it's went still on. on. <laughs> the album went on to be become one of the most influential and iconic albums of all time, and its songs have remained classic rock staples. The album title also became the title for two more Meatloaf albums. Simon produced the album Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell, in 1993. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Desmond Child huh? produced the album Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose, in 2006. That's not so great. No. <laughs> also, this album, I, from what I can recall, only has like five tracks, because each one's like ten minutes long. Let's let's get to let's just get to the track listing. I love huh? it. Oh, it's broken up into side one and side two, which is 
Mm. Classic. Number one, bat out of hell. Kick it off. Number two, you took the words right out of my mouth. Parentheses, hot summer night. <laughs> three, heaven can wait. Four, all revved up with no place to go. Five, two out of three ain't bad. Six, literally the greatest song ever made. Paradise by the Dashboard. Yeah, Lord. baby. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, this album, right? Seven for crying out loud. Done. That's it. I forget about it. Paradise by the Dashboard Light is such a good song. This, I feel like I didn't even know about Meatloaf, really. Until Fight Club. Uh, for real. Yeah. That was probably my first, like, who the hell is Meatloaf? Maybe Spice World. Not me. I, I've only seen, like, half of that movie. So. Um, but, yeah, he's, like, in the movie, and he's, like, he's not necessarily a punchline in the movie, but... He plays We've like, all seen Yeah he Fight plays Club. a sad sack You yeah. know So it's like Oh that must just be What Meatloaf's like And no he's the fucking well, yeah, Best Right and then cut to You know like 10 years later And I'm watching Rocky Horror And he's like Oh yeah Killing it Speaking of Rocky Horror uh-huh. uh, So you know All these channels do Live whatever You know Grease live and whatever Sure They're yeah. doing Rocky Horror live And I'm so fucking pumped for it Like yeah, no joke I will watch that um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. The, you know. You know. Uh, who's Owen, playing Frank, right? Yeah. It's the. Um. Uh, what's her name? Uh, La- Laverne, Laverne Cox, Cox. Yeah. From Orange Is New Black. Mm, can't wait. Uh, do you know anybody else? I don't. No, I don't care. I don't care. It's gonna be enough. great. It's gonna be great. I saw like they they released like a little clip preview. Oh yeah. It it's it's like nothing. You yeah, know, yeah, but right. it's just like promotional images basically. But I need to take a look. It at just that. looks so good. It's. It is gonna be so fucking cool, and I'm, I can't wait. Now, what what do you think that they're gonna have the audience like? I do know one more person. Ooh, who? Tim Curry. Is going to be the, the doctor, uh, the, 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 the the narrator, yeah, the pro, the like he, the oh, doctor wait. narrator, the professor narrator the, guy, yeah, yeah, the guy with no neck, yeah. Okay, I thought you were gonna say he was gonna be the um the professor in the wheelchair. No, 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 no. Okay. He's the he's the doctor. Interesting. Yeah. No, he's the uh, or the, nar- the whatever the narrator. He's yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. narrator. Right, right, right. <clears throat> um, that's awesome. Good. I'm glad that he's still in the mix. Uh. Do you think the audience is going to be like a properly like ready audience to like oh, shout shit out? Fuck, because that would be gotta be. I mean, because if you don't, it's like why do it? Right. It's not a, it's not a good movie. It's not a good yeah, play. Exactly. It's like you do it because it's fun and weird. Yeah. Um, Gotta have the interaction. It's gonna it's gonna be so fucking awesome. And what? and uh, I I don't I'm sure you know, but uh, Laverne Laverne or Laverna? Uh, Laverne? I think it's Laverne. Laverne Cox is uh, trans. Is actually yeah. yeah. It, it, like a trans black woman that's just so cool and like wild that it's like okay we did it we're not yeah, we did it but but all right, here we're we go. here we're doing like, some shit <laughs> and people I mean people are gonna be so mad and it's oh, like yeah well I mean they're already mad well, but they're probably you already can't they're do right, Rocky Horror in the first place right like, right <laughs> but they're probably already mad like you can't do Grease oh but it's sure like, sure yeah Grease is trash like <laughs> it's always been trash just like let it be trash yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm so I'm so excited, and I, I don't think it's gonna be trash. I think it's gonna be fantastic because yeah, the yeah. soundtrack is great. I have the soundtrack on vinyl. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. It was like my mom's, and I that's I, awesome. I jacked it, dude. That that I, I like think I genuinely just like that movie because it's so weird and cool. It's so weird, and it's like it's like not spooky, but kind of spooky. It's just like weird. It's just weird. It's, it's super weird, man. Yeah, but it also also like has weird touching elements to it yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I mean, like the, the last like third of the movie is like, oh my god, like, yeah. Uh, I, I, and obviously I was into that real big same time I was into Fight Club real big. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like those. So that's why that you was are my whole life. Yeah, <laughs> it for, still is for like it's for like two years. It was like Fight Club yeah. and Rocky Horror, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's fucking it. <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> it's I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, so the, the point is, I didn't know who Meatloaf was, and, and now now oh, we he's do. The fucking greatest of all time. Turns out, yeah. Paradise by the Dashboard Light is so like funny and sad and like weird Ugh. which i feel like describes him really well yeah it's it's so or it's it seems funny when you're first listening and then it's like oh it, it it's it's fucked up he's like i need to go back and listen to the whole album he's like a villain in the song basically but he's he he he's telling the story and he's painting he's, himself as not the villain but it's like but you listen back you're like, you're like a you're like a lying piece of shit <laughs> bad guy and now everyone is miserable <laughs> oh, so good sweet yeah you're the victim dude and then that weird like baseball it's like when they're having sex but it's just like a baseball <sighs> i love that song so much can we just like have the album like playing gently underneath all of our no we, no. Will. <laughs> we won't do that huh? legally we absolutely <laughs> cannot i want i do want to know what how much of a song we you can play because there's mm. got to be some amount. Although, if 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 it's for like educational purposes, if it's for educational or or critiquing, 
it falls under fair use. Which I feel like our podcast is about as educational as it gets. That is very true. We're literally reading encyclopedia articles. Yeah. So we'll find out if Johnny has a stone to do it or not. By the time this episode comes out, you'll have known because it will have been playing this whole time or not. I don't. Uh, <laughs> so right up front, letting us all know, do not have the stones. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, what, yeah, what, what what can we get away with? Like, you play the first fifteen seconds of each track, or I don't know. Or like, we have you, to sing it all. Yeah, that's I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta know right now before we go any further. Will you love me? Will you love me forever? Will you? Need me Will you never leave me Will you love me for life Will you make me your wife uh, That's all I know But just a loop of that Over yeah. and over and over again I can see paradise By the dashboard light Like a bat out of hell uh, Burning down the highway <laughs> Right? Yeah <laughs> Um what else has he only done that album basically? Well, I'm bad out of hell too. Well, back into you know hell I mean, like, and bad out of hell three. The beast is loose. Back into hell. Speaking of beasts being loose, I just saw this on the news today. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy segue. Uh, there's a there's like some park here in Chicago that is closed down because people keep getting attacked by a cougar. By a uh, they're not sure if it's a coyote or a dog, which is so like. I mean, I I know they're like similar, but but you I think I, I would feel know. like I could look at. <laughs> Look at a, a thing and be able to tell you That's a damn wolf If it's a coyote, coyote or, or a dog Yeah I definitely could I've been playing a yeah, lot Yeah that's a corgi of, <laughs> It's a sure. fucking corgi It's a Welsh corgi oh. It could be a coyote though I've been playing a lot of Red Dead um, Redemption Oh really? Yeah which is great by the way It's it's Wild West uh, Grand Theft Auto right? Yeah exactly so, I mean that's the best uh, Yeah it doesn't get any better right But yeah you just be riding around your horse And you'll just hear coyotes like uh. In the distance like oh where are those motherfuckers And you just go find them and Or sometimes they'll find you and start attacking you But if you shoot one or two, they'll all run off because they're scared. So it's like, eh, seems realistic. Then they don't look anything like dogs. Yeah, they look like coyotes. They look like coyotes. You would know. You would know a coyote if you saw one. I mean, if I held two flashcards right now, you you could tell me in an instant which one was which. I feel like I could. Yeah. Even if you got like the closest dog breed to a coyote. Sure. It's like, that's that's a that is a cartoon drawing of Snoopy, <laughs> not a coyote. Like you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, uh, which park is it? We need to go find out. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just like I one of the know. big. It's like Lincoln Park. Yeah, like, right, I don't, right. no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's the zoo. The <laughs> zoo. Just, it's we're done. You can't. They got. They reclaimed it. Every animal is dead. Killed <laughs> by this coyote. <laughs> coyote. He's always sneaking through the bars, and, <laughs> and it sucks because that's where like all the good Pokemon are. So if you're playing Pokemon Go, you just can't go over there. There's there are four Poke Stops right by the lake up here by us. All that all converge. Yeah. So you can sit right in the middle. So like over cuts. the weekend, there were like twenty people posted up. So lure modules L- going lures, left and right. lures on all of them. Just like, oh, there's a lapras. Like I heard yeah. people like shouting, oh. "There's a lapras! Get over here quick!" I caught, quick. A, I caught a squirtle out there. I got a couple squirtles. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, my favorite thing about the beach is there's like just some random the honeys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beehives everywhere. Uh, there's like a random like lighthouse. Yeah, there's, there's like, a gym. It's a gym. It's you have to go trek out to it. Yeah, and it's controlled by our team. And whatever the crazy motherfucker got it, the three crazy dudes. Each Pokemon I'm on is like insane. It's like a fifteen hundred Gyarados and like Jesus Christ. A, it's insane. It's wild. It's like well. Sucks for every other team, but, but glad that's on our team. Yeah, Team Valor for Life. Uh, all other teams, you are no longer allowed to listen to this podcast. <laughs> Smile you later. So something happens, it's like, well, we're just, just, not, we're just not meant to have this podcast. Yeah. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.